So fishing is about a lot more than just catching a fish. Fishing's about travel, adventure, friendship. All these things are kind of what play into fishing. And so as I started to come up with this scheme of traveling down to Southern Oregon, I knew I had to involve a bunch of my buddies in this. One of the things I've always wanted to do with Addicted was gather a bunch of my friends together and go on these adventures, things that we've always wanted to do growing up or things that we've talked about or bucket list. You know, and it was crazy that we had never gone to Southern Oregon. We had never traveled down and fished some of the most amazing steelhead rivers that there are in the Pacific Northwest. And that was exactly what we were gonna do. We've gotten a little glimpse of the, uh, the old Adventure Mobile Deluxe um, when we actually got to go tour the Yakima facility down in Oregon. And so when they told us we were gonna get to use it for this trip and they were gonna rack it out with all the fishing equipment and, and give us the trailer and everything else to put the raft on, you know, I didn't really know what to expect. And then when I pulled into Marlin's driveway with my little, uh, let's call it the, the mini Adventure Mobile, the Toyota with the two little Yakima racks on top. <laughs> and we pull in and it's got the, the shower, it's got the racks, it's got the stuff for our waders, it's got the fancy like five pound feather trailer back there. And it was, uh, it was kind of everything I expected it to be coming from, from a company like Yakima. Should do us for a little while at least. Should make it down there. Basically, once we got everything loaded up, we got everyone kind of jammed into the Yakima, the Yakima truck. It was sending it. We were sending it all the way down to Southern Oregon. We were gonna do the bash day one, and then at the end of day one, we were gonna just kind of figure it out. Got some brand new X rods in the packages, everyone. Hey, what's up, everyone out there? Thank you so much for tuning in to this little series. We just got in the trucks and drove, what, about four hours down yeah. to an area that I've wanted to fish like my entire life. There's steelhead rivers up and down Washington and Oregon's coast. It's crazy that we kind of live in like centralized area where you could drive like eight hours one way or eight hours another way and get to steelhead in both directions and we've never done it. Well, don't both are destinations too. That's yeah. the cool part. Yeah. And don't forget California. I mean, and also how many rivers did we drive over to get here? A that ton. Were all like, like a that, ton. That, that, uh, there's a steelhead, there's a steelhead, there's a steelhead. Oh, a yeah. ton. All day. But the idea of this trip, guys, is we're gonna be yeah. exploring. We're exploring a whole bunch of new rivers that we've never fished before, and we're bringing you all along for the ride, so stay tuned. We can't wait to bring you along on the journey. Let's see what happens. This one is killer. 
lot of them. Uh, what do we got? Oh, thank you. All right. Awesome. Well, right, here we go. Came down here from Eugene, and first person care got this knife, Gerber tri tip knife, and this thing's just amazing. And so stoked and excited to meet these guys and see what's going on at the store. I can't get enough of their content. I heard they're going to be within my range to come see them. So me and my son came up uh, today. Every time I get a not bell notification, I'm right there, you know, watching their videos and uh, ordering their ordering their gear. Of course, I left my hoodie in the truck. Work? Jordan, Great. thank you, man. You're very welcome, buddy. Thanks for coming out. Thank you, man. Thanks for making the trip. All right, Attic, so as you can see, this is what our bash looks like. A lot of people coming out, a lot of giveaway items that we're going to be giving away. Thank you so much to all you guys that came and showed support. Cam's going to be giving a seminar here soon. Yeah, we're going to get started, but I guess we're going to have to come to Southern Oregon again. Yeah, I think so. I think, oh, so. I think we're going to have to make Med for another stop. This place soon. was awesome. <laughs> this is your All home. right, guys, stay tuned for more. Hopefully, some fishing coming up very soon. So I see what you're saying. So you we, you can just take my truck to make it easy, if you wanted to. Is it? Or I could just hop in with Ben. Ben. No, no, no. You can just take my truck, and we'll just take that. I mean, I guess the, how hard does it take to switch the trailer? It's not. It's like one pin. Yeah. So let's just do that. Normally. For how far away are we going? Uh, it's like 15 miles. Okay. Cool. Every key you need is on that key ring. So in the morning, just. Unlock the, you know, just switch the trailer Ooh. off and then bring the keys back up. You guys get to see what happens when we're in the hotel room planning the next day, which is what's happening right now. It's not as cool as you think it is. It's not as, <laughs> it's not as cool. No, I think it is. There, there's a lot of strategy. Strategy that goes, and planning. There's a lot of strategy that goes into these strategy, nights. Strategy, strategy. It's all indecision and arguing. Of the you caught the night before. <laughs> yeah. the preparation. And we wanted to split up. The idea was to kind of explore as many rivers as possible in a short time period. So what we did was we took two boats and put them on one river and we took two boats and put them on another river and we were just gonna see what happens. Morning addicts, day one of the little adventure, the fishing part of it. Of course, last night we had the bash, it was awesome. I think we had about 170 of you guys out there. So it was super cool. Thank you guys for showing up. And if you are watching this video, personal thank you because like I said before, I guess we got to come to Southern Oregon, but we're heading down here to drop some vehicles. Um, we're gonna probably run some boats. Honestly, it's foggy out. I have no idea where the hell we're at. So we're just uh, getting after it pretty early in the morning. And hopefully we're gonna get some fish. So me, Cameron, and Sean were given the task of going one area with Steve Chrysler from Pavati Marine. He actually came out and spoke at our seminar down there, which was awesome. He's a good friend of mine. Um, but he was going to show. He he was following a really good report from the day before uh, that he had gotten from the lower echelon of the river, where most of the guides. But as they told me uh, and Mikey that we would be fine in the raft. Yeah, the raft will be fine. And as we start backing everybody's boats down into the water, I started noticing one thing uh, all of them had in common, and they all had a six horse. Um, Yamaha or, or whatever, Suzuki, you know, they all had motors on the back of the boats and um, I was pleasantly surprised in the next couple hours with getting to find out why. Who do you think's going to win today? I don't know, the other boys are on the other river today so we just kind of had to do a, you know, we go to a different area and then do a little divide and conquer so I think Lon, Lon came down, his buddy. Marlon, Ben, Ben came yeah. down last night, so hopefully those guys are getting them. Brought a knife to a gunfight over here. The raft? That's okay. <laughs> it's it's like, all about that slow no. presentation and right. only fishing them once. They don't want more than one look. They don't want more than one look? No, they get no. tired of it. Yeah. I've seen that drift boat before. I've seen that drift boat before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blue raft. Blue raft? Okay. Sure, I'll bite. Wow. <laughs> All right, everyone, here we are. This is our first day, first float in Southern Oregon. We're super excited about it. We're gonna see what happens. We're gonna float down river. We got Lonnie's buddy, Nate, here that we're gonna be fishing out of his drift boat. We got Ben and his raft. He's also gonna be fishing. 
We're gonna float down this river first time. We'll see what happens. We're excited about it. You excited? I'm really excited, yeah. I can't wait. Like we said, we've been talking about doing this for years and it's weird that we've never done it considering we're only, you know, three, four hours away from some of these awesome rivers, whether we go north or south in different directions. So we decided to go south this time. Let's see what happens. The adventure awaits. When we got onto the river that first day, I remember thinking, man, this is a lot bigger river than what we typically fish. You know, in Southwest Washington, a lot of the areas we fish, we're fishing creeks or small places that, that aren't big giant rivers. Basically, we were just trying to approach it the same way we would a little river, just kind of dissecting it down, hitting the seams, hitting the boulder points, hitting the soft water points, and using the same tactics that we always use. So we were fishing worms, we were fishing jigs, throwing a little bit of spoons, and then Lonnie's buddy obviously was making us fish beads. So we were throwing a little bit of bead action as well. You guys been getting any fish? No bites. No bites. Do you have a bobber gondi up there or something? I've seen you like looking at your worm, like looking for teeth. We had marks. a couple like random little bobber downs that we're fishing. Yeah. We're gonna just call them trout. Trout snibbles. Or that link cod. Or that link cod. Yeah, That's what that me. was. There's okay. Freshwater <laughs> link cod in here. So uh, no one hit this upper stretch here, so I think we ought to go give this a shot real quick. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, uh, we'll run down to that next little run down there and beat it up. That's kind of what I'm thinking will work out. They didn't get them all. They didn't get them all. No They're way. actually going to move them up to us. <laughs> They're going to run from the aluminum yeah. fleet of boats coming at them. They like pretty boats. They like pretty boats. This is a pretty boat. Holy smokes. They like the pretty boats. Look at this. It's got like six cup holders up here, folks. You see that? Six. You can have two beers and a coffee going at once. Absolutely. <laughs> this is some big water, folks. This is big water than what we're a lot used to fishing. So this is what happens when you always catch more fish than your friends. <laughs> when you go to new rivers, is you get stuck in the raft with an anchor back there in the water. And they get drift boats with motors on them. Yeah. And they get lazy. Yes, yeah, so they get to fish all the water more than you. But we'll, we will prevail. We will be top dogs today because we got the dog. <laughs> right, Lito? Right? Yeah. Are Pavati spinner proof? <laughs> oh, whoa! Don't mess with Jordan in a spinner, apparently. That was like right there. Oh, trout. Oh. <laughs> that would have been sick. Woo. No, it's a steelhead lid. It's a half pounder. Yeah, it counts as half. <laughs> Ready, right, Bruce. It is a half pounder, dude. Mark it. Count it. Nice, dude. Look how pretty that is. Yeah. Half pounder. Boy. First one of the trip. That counted. Right. Count it. Numbers. It's a numbers game. <laughs> That's a fish. I got a fish. Oh my god. That thing just took off. That was 100% fish, dude. Dang. It's just gone. Oh my god. It even, dude, it like, dude, that was nuts. Oh my gosh. That thing, that looked like Jaws took off with it. There's no way that was like a small, or I right. bet that bobber oh, yeah. looked like Jaws. It was gone ski. <laughs> Let's go run up there and try that again. Uh, that was a fish. I oh, yeah. Like, Let's see if he's got yeah, a buddy laying up there. See if we can get him. Maybe tell Jordan. Yeah. No, we don't want to tell him anything. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Did he bite the pink one? Or did he bite the pink one? <laughs> Let's see if I can screw it up again, eh? What are you doing here, Jordan? We're, uh... We're going bass fishing on the lake now. Yeah, All of a sudden. <laughs> now, uh, get the motor thing now. Get the motor. As, as if I didn't before. <laughs> we'll take them here, they said. They'll have fun, they said. <laughs> the original idea for filming this, if none of you will find out until now, was that we were supposed to be on teams. And there was supposed to be a bet place to see who could catch more fish. But as soon as we got out on the river... Uh, it was pretty apparently pretty quick that Steve and uh, Cameron didn't know the weirdo in the blue raft, so. 
guess I understand the motor now. <laughs> what, the 35 horse ain't working? Oh, that slew? <laughs> oh, yeah, that slew. They really get them down there in that lake. <laughs> Shit, I'm all ready to go hop in there and row it for you just so I can get warm. Yeah. Oh, Little's like, I'll just steer so I don't go off he's track. He's really concerned right now. He's like, what is, what are you doing? He's like, Dad, this isn't how this normally works. This is how rafts flip. <laughs> this is how rafts flip, children. Don't do this. Yeah, so we're about, I don't know, how far are we down on this float? Halfway? Yeah. We're about halfway done with our float so far this morning. And it's been, it's well, it's fishing. We're fishing, we're not catching right now, but it's still awesome being out here. The water's great, the weather, the clouds just burned off. So we're kind of hoping this bottom half is gonna turn on a little bit. It's kind of a temperature spike. So yeah, anyways, stay tuned. That was a fish, dude. He, he hit it three times in there. Really? You saw that the whole time. Dude, he hit it and then he hit it and then he hit it again and buried it. <laughs> Dang it. Dude, that was a fish. How did I miss that? Dude, I'm getting like frustrated because now I'm like, I've deepened out and that was, that was a fish. He hit it at first, like up in the oh, yeah. ripple. It just did like a little bad. Yeah, following it? Yeah. That's why I was thinking maybe it was a trout or something, but. Oh. The hell with that? Mm -hmm. Just had a BD right there. Just saying, throwing it out there. Felt like a tail shake, real quick. I hadn't had it go down in there at all. <laughs> I've been through it a hundred times. Oh my god, his bobber did go down. Oh, that's awesome. That is so scary. I can feel him just on every rock, every, just grinding against everything. Is that worm? Yeah. Uh, it's bigger than we think. He is fighting so hard. I'm gonna try right here. I'm gonna lift him. Woo! It's in. So we finally pull off to the side, we kind of split up, and the first little boulder seam that me and Ben hit, I hooked this fish and we land it and we finally get our first taste of Southern Oregon steelhead. Dimer. Nice. Well, we've been grinding a little bit, haven't we guys? Yeah. We finally found one. My first Southern Oregon wild steelhead. I think she's probably ready to go whenever we want to let her go. Yeah. Heck yeah. Nice. On board. We got one. Red haze, white tail, addicted worm. Cash money. That was sweet. Ben was, was like, you gonna get that? Bad. I was like, uh, <laughs> get that? That's awesome. Right after I saw that one right off the rock. Well, it has been a total mutiny at this point. Our teammates have left us with no rations or provisions. <laughs> Just a dog and a Filipino. <laughs> and uh, hit the cowboy. Hit the cowboy. I was on him though, damn it, that time. <laughs> you got me one, boys. You got little uh, coho schmolt. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of him. Whew. Almost dropped him in your boat. Yeah, I think you're winning Rome, right? Winning right Rome. You wanna put a little stink on it? You want me to? <laughs> <laughs> you got garlic on there right it's now? Good. It's good. got the stink there. on it. Plenty on there. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Eat my yarny ball that's flavored in garlic and stink. Oh, fish. That's fish. That's fish, my friend. That's where you still are. 
Good work, brother. Ooh. I'm gonna sit back here and eat my pepperoni stick and yeah, enjoy. Yeah, you just do that. Hey, the pepperoni mm -hmm. is good luck. I tell you, you can't right, expect guys. them to eat if you don't. Yeah. We got some live Whoa. action. Oh, <laughs> jumper! Live action. That a boy. Nice little fish. Yeah. Oh, do it again. Call him little again. He says. <laughs> oh, kind of Get after it. Right in here. You're welcome. Nice job, dude. Yeah, get it. Nice Heck job. yeah, brother. A little chunkier fish than I thought. Yeah. Got some shoulders. Yeah, pretty. Good job, Steve. Persistent. I was like, we're going to run this again? Are we really going to run this again? And freaking, you put us on it and bam. All right, guys. Beautiful little hen chrome bullet. Fat little gal. Not spawned yet. Fresh arrival. Hook came right out there. Oh, 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 oh. Better just chill out there just a second. Out of here. Sweet. Thank you, Steve. I feel like that was my second one today, but I kind of boneheaded the first one, so. Steve had to like hold my hand to that one. <laughs> well, we have officially been ditched. Yeah. Our friends are nowhere in sight. They obviously stayed back at the good hole and didn't let us know. And now we're rowing down the river, trying to find our own spots, trying to find our own place in the world. <laughs> with all the drift boats. We're in the raft and drift boat land. Well. I feel pretty lost. But, we keep using our quirky tactics from up north to try to find us a Southern Oregon steelhead. Oh, that was a fish, dude. That was a fish. That was a fish. That was a fish. I bet you a dollar. One dollar, shiny one. Oh. There you go. All right, one through this tail out here, nice and deep. So one of the goals as we were floating down the river was we really wanted to catch a big fish. We had heard that there were some really, really big fish in the river, and Lonnie's fishing beads were floating down, we're bobber dogging, and he finally hooks in to what I think ends up being the biggest fish on the trip. Got shoulders, bro. Got shoulders. Coming in this way. Heading up river. Oh, God. Right below the boat, 15 feet. 10 feet from the bobber. It's got some shoulders. Dude, he's a, fat, he's a fatty. Bro. I gotta get over there. Fatty. He's holding, holding fast. You ready? Nope. Nope. Oh my gosh. That's a big fish. That's a big That's fish. The queen. Oh god. Slap. That's it. That's it. Really nice. It's a nice fish. Number two, baby. That's a tank. That's what we came looking for. Oh, look yeah. at the head on him. Oh, he's heavy. <laughs> what a freaking studly fish. This thing's heavy. That's what we came here for. Oh, boys. Right there. Probably 35. 35. Got a little bit of a yep. curl in him. 35. Oh, yeah. 17. 18, right 18, and 18 and a half. You go to the zero. Go to the zero. Yeah. A little, little bit over a little 18 bit and a half. 35 by 18 nice. and a half. That's a tank. Awesome. What a fish. Look at this guy. I'm not even going to tell you, but I guess I will. On a bead. 
freaking bead. Oh man, so we landed that really, really big steelhead and that was just an absolute beauty of a steelhead. It's awesome, awesome colors. As you guys can see, we keep them in the addicted landing nets and get a nice safe release on them, but that fish was fun to tango with. It looked like Lonnie had a blast catching that thing. Mm. You can tell, that's where you can really tell how fat he is. He's gonna go any second now. Just look at it. Would you just look at it? Just look right oh. at it. That is a stud. That's just a cool looking shape of a it fish. It is. Bye, guy. Woo, I'm wet and that was awesome. <laughs> that was sick. That's what we came here for, boys and girls. That's yes. what we came here for. Whatever gets him in. Dude, yeah! Wow. Nothing. Back to I think it's his little sister. That's fair enough. His head shaking so much. Like, And the net, maybe. That's another just diver. Look at that thing. That thing's chrome. Look at that beauty, guys. Number three for the day. This one's a pretty one. This is that. This is the little sister of the one Lonnie got. Just an awesome fish. All right, addicts. See you later, pretty girl. Yee! All right. Yes. That was a little chromey. Yeah, she was rallying. Yeah. Barbara should just be draining right now. This is where it's supposed to happen. In a five, four, three, two, one. Yeah. Oh my God, that was a fish. Oh, you've tabbed it. They damn near yanked the rod out of my hands. Good. Well, we're using technology and a little bit of fishing engineering and getting the heck out of here. Made it through most of the good holes, Steve said, so we're going to go get some lunch. <laughs> Camera got one fish though. Mission accomplished. Caught a fish on this river at least. Talk to him. Shut up. What? You talk to the guys? They got one fish. Are they lying? Huh? Are they lying? No, they all sound depressed. Really? Yeah. They got four? Zero. <laughs> I sit down. I don't know how long that bobber was under. I, I wasn't looking at it at the time. I sat down. I sat on scissors. Stood up. Looked at the scissors. Set them down. Sat down again. Looked around. No bobber. Dude. Oh yeah. Oh boy. It's a nice. Not like not quite as the other one, but. Oh, here we go. Thank you, ready. Yeah! Literally, I went to sit down, my bobber was gone. I sat down on scissors, I stood up, didn't look at my bobber at all, grabbed the scissors, set them down, looked at the seat, sat down, turned around and my bobber was gone. Like, <laughs> it was probably 20 seconds before, like in that window, that I did not see my bobber at all. I don't know how long it was down. I just, 
That is so awesome. Classic. Well, in the middle of that. We just got an update from the other guys. They finally called us back in the service. It sounds like they struggled. They had a tough day. Really? Yeah. Dang. Sounds like they might have got one, maybe. Really? They're already off the water, so. They were going to get food. They were like, they wanted us to row out and go get food with them. And I'm like, no, dude, we're fishing. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. We definitely found a little section of them. Look at that fish, dude. Look at that red pearl addicted worm just right in her face. What a pretty fish. Just chrome as can be out here right now. Yee I hope that the other guys are joking. They did better. They sounded really depressed. Yeah, but that's easy to fake. All right, everyone. We're probably, what, are we more, little three quarters of the way down now? We've got how many fish? Five. Five for five. We ran into a little pot of them finally. They're loving the addicted worms. Got one on a bead. It's been a good day so far. We couldn't have asked for any more for our first adventure down to Southern Oregon. Like I said, this has kind of been a bucket list trip for us for a long time. And we're stoked to be here and we're stoked to bring you guys along for the ride. Let's go find out what happens next. Yep. He's not giant, but he's, it looked like a bigger hen. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Found it. That is a nice freaking hen. That's what I thought. It looked like a nice hen. Good transfer. Transfer. That's a nice fish. That is. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's a freaking fat hen. <sighs> yeah, she's got some meat on her. Oh, she's, she wants to go. I'm trying to let you go if you just let me get you out of the net, lady. <sighs> Here she is, folks. Thanks so much, Southern Oregon. Bonnie. Found it. Ben. Brick, yeah. Addicts. If anything, we'll just hop out. Yeah, I think hop out and I can walk down the river. And I'm gonna get her a little higher up before I do any moving. That is. Oh, there it is. And there it is. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that you just asked that. Because <laughs> that the end of that where I just picked it up yeah. made me think it was a sucker fish. I caught the smallest fish of the day. I get it. it I get a price. Right? I would have to say that the bead is almost the size of its head. Beep. Let, me, let me get one. Fish is a fish. That's right. We thought if it was any bigger, I don't think I'd have got it up here because it was down in there. Yeah. It, that rod was maxed out. He's <laughs> holding it right at that white water. We're definitely running out of daylight. Yes, we are. This is the only section I wouldn't mind getting through before that gets too dark. So as the day started progressing on, we, we were catching quite a few fish. It seemed like every like good seam or thing that we could find, we could get on fish and it sucks because we started running out of daylight to the point where we were like having to like fish quick through a lot of these areas. And I think if we wouldn't have ran out of time, we would have caught even more fish. Cannot complain if you end the day of steelhead fishing with some hot food. Nope. Yeah. Well, well, can, those guys are all sad because they don't have hot food. Oh, That's God. why. Yeah. Could be. Could be. <laughs> what would you guys think of your first day down a Southern Oregon River? Started off fishing. 
Just searching. Grinding. Really grinding. Hitting hitting grinding. Hard. Not finding anything. And then after that first fish, our moods just shot up and fishing just shot up. And it, was like it was like from that point on, it was like bam, 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 bam. It was. Shows your confidence. Yeah. Just keep first, at it. Seriously. It's crazy. Yeah. Just what it does. One fish just right after the other. Just yeah. up and up and up. Okay, addicts. Packing up. Gonna go get the trailers. Go meet up with the other guys. Figure out the plan for tomorrow. Let's see what happens. It ends up being an absolute blast of a day. We pull the boats out and we end up heading out to dinner and planning the next day. There was a big controversy then at that night was, was whether to go fish more boats on the one river and, and kind of dissect that. Now that those guys had kind of gotten an idea or send it, you know, three hours almost to the coast to where we wanted to fish the second day, um, where, where we'd all kind of hankered to go fishing to begin with, where, where actually Lonnie's buddy was from. So we made that call about nine o'clock at night. We all went out and got some Applebee's and loaded up in the trucks and did a full send, made it safe. Um, there was a big bowl of taffy at the hotel waiting for us. And uh, we all crashed out and got ready for the next day. Got him. Got him. Do? Yep, nice I got him. Oh, here he goes. Look at that. There he is. Ooh, that's a hot fish, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,